Go follow me over on Instagram for more content. I'm doing a giveaway at 3,000 followers. Thank you. In today's modern age of baseball, pitchers are nastier than ever. They're throwing harder than ever, are more athletic than ever, are just all around more talented than ever. And along with that, teams have better, more knowledgeable doctors, trainers, and physical therapists than ever before. The best medical people available, the most advanced technology. So not only do you have ridiculously hard throwing and talented pitchers, but you have advanced and modern medical people and technology to keep them healthy the best of both worlds except it doesn't really work out that way and it's not as perfect of a reality as you would assume or at least hope as arm injuries especially elbow injuries have continued to spike upward if you're part of the 70 percent of viewers not subscribed make sure to hit that button if you enjoy the content thank you mlb writer and insider bob nightingale's recent article in usa today is what sparked me to want to talk about this as a lot of it is pretty alarming stuff and where most of my details in this video will be coming from as i'll be kind of running through this article to get into some pretty wild facts about this, 30 pitchers have undergone Tommy John surgery this year, which is the most known and common elbow surgery. What it does is reconstructs or repairs a torn UCL, which is of course in the elbow, and it knocks pitchers out for at least a year, year and a half to recover from it. The first time this procedure was ever done was back in 1974, operated on a pitcher named, well, I'm sure you can guess, Tommy John, hence the name. So 30 pitchers have gotten it this year, 12 of them being in the month of May alone, with some of those including Cy Young Award winner Robbie Ray, highly touted prospect Kumar Rocker, young Astros star and World Series champion Luis Garcia, it's just, it's not good. According to baseball prospectus research, elbow and shoulder injuries have increased 44% in the last year. The Milwaukee Brewers have four-fifths of their opening day starting rotation on the injured list because of shoulder problems. Brandon Woodruff has shoulder inflammation, Aaron Ashby got shoulder surgery, Wade Miley has a shoulder strain, and Eric Lauer has a shoulder impingement. The Tampa Bay Rays also have four pitchers knocked out on the injured list, but instead of all four being because of shoulder problems, it's all elbow problems. Lefty Jeffrey Springs, who had been amazing for the Rays, had to undergo Tommy John, so he's done for a while. Drew Rasmussen has a flexor strain in his elbow, was shut down for a while. Shane Baz is out until 2024 because of Tommy John, and Josh Fleming is now shelved because of an elbow issue. It's been as of recent where I've started to realize a trend with the Rays. They know how to build and develop pitching. I mean, I and a lot of people have known that for a while now. They're probably the best at it. They pluck guys from seemingly off the side of the road and build them into pitchers with elite nasty stuff on the mound. With that said, what I've realized is that the Rays also tend to have so many arm injuries. So it's almost as if they know how to build and develop good pitching, but don't know how to keep them healthy. Just something to think about. Justin Verlander, Carlos Rodon, Jacob DeGrom, three of the best starting pitchers in baseball, well, they've only combined for just 12 starts in just 66 and a third innings at the time of me making this video. All three of them combined. That's it. Orthopedic surgeon and New York Mets medical director, Dr. David Alcheck, thinks the issue could be with velocity, with guys throwing as hard as they do and with weighted balls, something some pitchers use during workouts to help them throw harder. Jesus Lazardo, the young Marlins starter, picked up a weighted ball and started practicing with it during his senior year of high school, only to go on to have to go under the knife for Tommy John surgery just a month later at 18 years old. Lazardo thinks that the arm issues are linked to kids being told that throwing hard matters so much, even saying he himself regrets throwing as much as he did when he was younger. Diamondbacks pitching coach Brent Strom isn't 100% convinced it's linked with velocity though, making the point that Tommy John himself didn't throw hard, yet had to get the surgery, and he himself, who also got it, didn't throw hard. Adding on that he thinks it's more about workload, admitting he threw way too much in high school and in college. I think it could be a number of things, but something I myself have noticed is some pitchers just not having the bodies meant to throw as hard as they do. I mean, the act of throwing and pitching isn't a natural and necessarily healthy thing for the human body and arm to begin with, let alone if you overdo both in the workload sense and in the intensity sense. Chris Sale is a guy who started to have arm issues back in 2018. He started off the season incredible and continued to be for most of it before being limited at the end because of his arm issues, eventually having to get Tommy John a couple years later in 2020, and he's back pitching in 2023 with seemingly no arm issues, but that was until he was taken out of his most recent start because of shoulder soreness and almost immediately put on the injured list. 
Chris Sale, to me, is a guy who's just thrown way too hard for his own good throughout his life and his career. He has a very funky arm delivery and doesn't have the body to be able to hold up. He was ridiculously talented for as long as he was, but his body was never going to hold up forever. He threw too hard for his own good. Same goes for a guy like Jacob deGrom. Jacob deGrom is one of the greatest pitchers to ever touch a big league mound. He's that good. His slider is 92 miles an hour. That's not me misspeaking. His slider is 92. His fastball can go up to 101, 102. He's absolutely filthy, but like Chris Sale, he does not have the body to be able to hold up, which is why we're seeing him have all these arm issues. He's thrown too hard for his own good. It sucks. It absolutely sucks. You want to see the best pitchers pitch, obviously, because that's part of what makes baseball fun. But I don't know, maybe there's a way to start going about pitching a different way, and I think it starts at a young age. Kids throw so much nowadays, whether it's travel ball, high school, college, and by the time they're in the big leagues, if they get there, they're already an arm injury waiting to happen. Just seems so common, and really it's because it is so common. I'm not an expert on this, and I really don't know exactly how to fix this issue, but my biggest take on this would be that it starts at a young age. It starts with the young kids and their workload and how hard they're being told to throw. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.